It was supposed to be a happy December, but was actually an unlucky Nissan. When we last tested the Qashqai, my cameraman got sick. This time, we were both sick, so the car was mostly used as an ambulance, not much else. There's thus less of me and more of the car. Rejoice! This has a gas electric powertrain, which means there's a 1.5 liter gas engine with 4 cylinders under the hood. I expected only 3 cylinders. Nice. The base version offers 103 kilowatt mild hybrid or 138 horses. The second option is another mild hybrid with 117 kilowatts or 157 horsepower. The third option is this one, the e-power, which uses the gas engine purely as an electric generator, which provides power for the 139 kilowatt electric motor. Even though this has a locomotive-style powertrain, my colleague could manage to get the consumption below 6.7 liters per 100 kilometers. City driving saw this rising up to 13 and an average of 8.7. Interestingly, motorway driving had this number lower down to 7.5, but any kind of acceleration made the car quite thirsty. This was practically the only downside of the car. And if the downside was the powertrain, then the upside was... the powertrain. <laughs> we were quite impressed with how nicely and smoothly the car accelerates. It's no racer, but it's lively in practically any situation. Of course, the electric motor is to blame for that. Another plus is the comfort. We've previously tested a Mazda CX-5, but found the Qashqai to be more comfortable. Those dreary drives to the doctor and back were actually nice. And if you notice that while sick and not giving a hoot for anything else, then it really has to be comfortable. The engine is barely audible as well, unless you push it. It follows the design trends of Hyundai and Kia, which isn't bad as the Koreans have made some good-looking cars lately. There's enough space for a family of four as well as a dog and cat. You'll have to leave the fridge at home, though. One more thing. For those of you that own a Nissan like this, tell us your experiences in the comments. We found that the heads-up display suddenly stopped working. Thinking we've accidentally switched it off, we looked into the menu, but it didn't even allow us to turn it back on at all. The base model starts at just under 29,000 euros. For the fully loaded e-power Qashqai, you'll be paying just over 44,000 euros.